never feel like you're on your own. Because no matter what threatens you, there are always people willing to help. People who are determined to face any challenge and who are ready to act at any moment. When the going gets tough and the stakes are high, when Earth's volatile nature rears its head, these are the people who rise to the occasion. Ultimately, they're just like you and I. None of us are born strong. And finding inner strength doesn't happen overnight. We are proud to make the tools that these everyday heroes rely on. But we know that ultimately, our tools rely on the people who know how to use them. People who are ready, now and always, to protect you. Ladies and gentlemen, DJI fans, protectors, and guardians, and anyone searching for tools to achieve the next generation of work, welcome to DJI Enterprise's first launch event. My name is Toby Nisley, and it's my extreme pleasure to be here today to show you the latest and greatest from DJI. DJI was founded 16 years ago based on a dream, a dream that drones could make the thrill of flying accessible to everyone and anyone. As we chased this dream, and as more and more people got their hands on drones, as this dream became a reality, drone technology has continued to evolve. For those who are unfamiliar, DJI Enterprise came about thanks to you, the innovators and pioneers who bravely pushed DJI drones past the boundaries of what anyone had imagined possible. We were amazed at what we saw. We saw firefighters attach thermal cameras to their drones and fly over burning buildings and wildfires, find hotspots in need of attention, and even see through smoke and debris to find victims. We saw inspectors navigate complex environments like bridges, power lines, solar fields, wind turbines, all in a fraction of the time, all without boots leaving the ground. We saw researchers, scientists, Farmers, surveyors, first responders, the list goes on. Innovators finding extraordinary ways to use drones. We saw a future brimming with potential where drones in your hands could bring forth a new generation of work, where drones had carved out their place in the toolbox of the everyday hero, where drones help you do your job faster, smarter, and most importantly, safer. And so, to meet customer demands and better serve those who provide for their communities, DJI Enterprise was born in 2015, an entire division within DJI devoted to developing drone solutions built for work. Even before DJI Enterprise was officially founded, it started with the Matrice 100, an open platform. We wanted to see what people would do with it, and the results were incredible. Something that our users needed was more carrying power, so we made the M600 a hexacopter capable of lifting heavier cameras and sensors. We took feedback from pilots on the front lines and we developed the Matrice 200 series. Here, we gave you multiple payload configurations, the ability to have a thermal camera and a zoom camera side by side. For some users, speed of deployment is everything. So we created the Mavic 2 Enterprise series, which fits in your glove compartment and is ready to deploy within seconds. So you have eyes in the sky when it matters. DJI Enterprise continued to evolve with the release of our latest flagship, the Matrice 300. Building off the success of the M200, every improvement made came at the request of the everyday heroes that use our products. We gave you longer flight times, improved safety and redundancy features, higher weather resistance, and ever powerful hybrid camera sensors. Over the years, you've taken these tools and you've done extraordinary things. You've increased productivity across your work sites, be it for construction or surveying, agriculture, inspection. You've protected historical landmarks in their moment of peril 
and you've helped preserve them for generations to come. You've acted with urgency and precision in response to natural disaster, landslides and earth earthquakes, tornadoes and floods. And you've protected endangered species from poachers, aided conservation efforts, and helped researchers broaden our understanding of the animal kingdom. And you've searched for those who are lost at night or in distress, and you've rescued them from danger. What you've done is nothing short of remarkable. It's our honor to continue to build the tools that help you make a difference in your communities. And we thank you for your loyalty and support for the past seven years. For the products we're launching today, we've held fast to the formula that's given us success throughout the years, listening to you, the pilots and drone program managers in the field. Individually, today's products are powerful, capable, resilient, and they push the boundaries of drone technology, all things that you expect from DJI. Together, these products represent a complete solution that will help you establish the next generation of drone program at your operations. Now, I'm so excited to show you what we've built for you next. To get us started, let me first take you to the office for some of our users. These lines span over 8,600 kilometers, connect 35 cities, and bring electricity to over three and a half million people. As you can imagine, keeping this infrastructure healthy is really important, but also really challenging. Power line inspectors who protect and maintain this critical infrastructure contend with mountainous terrain, harsh winds, and freezing temperatures, all at altitudes above 4,000 meters. Before drones, inspectors had to literally climb mountains to access each and every tower, braving the elephants and exposing themselves to danger. We're proud to say that today, drones have established themselves as standard equipment in the toolkits of these inspectors, capable of collecting high resolution inspection data, all without having feet leave the ground. But at altitude and in extreme cold in remote regions like these, every inch of space in your vehicle is at a premium. And every time you have to unpack your drone or pack it back up, every movement is made more difficult by the biting cold. The power grid crews and enterprise customers, they need drones that are built tough and reliable, that can get the job done even in harsh conditions. And they need something that's easy to set up, use, pack up, and move. They need something powerful, but at the same time, also portable. And I'm so happy to say we managed to do it. Meet the new Matrice 30. The first thing you must be thinking is, it looks like the Matrice 300 and the Mavic 2 Enterprise had a baby. And that's exactly what we were going for. A drone with flagship level specs and performance, but in the airframe of something much more maneuverable and transportable. The first thing we had to do to you know if it was even possible to make something this powerful, but this small, was develop the payload. The Matrice 30 series comes in two models, the M30 and the, eight, the M30T. The base M30 model has a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, a 48 megapixel zoom camera capable of up to 16 times optical zoom and 200 times digital zoom. It's got a laser rangefinder which can give you the precise coordinates of objects up to 1,200 meters away. And the M30T has all of that plus a 640 by 512 pixel radiometric thermal camera. Okay, so that was a lot of specs. Let me show you what all of this together looks like. So this is the M30 at work, hovering at a safe distance from this electrical tower. There's no need to get too close, and we can just zoom in on our targets from a safe distance. So this is 20 times zoom, and there's the picture. And zoom in a little bit more. Okay, this here is the level of detail that inspectors need. See this wire that's going through? You have to be sure that this wire is still there, and if it was missing, they would be they would have to take a note, and then the maintenance crew would have to come service this. So now let's also check out the M30T's thermal camera. So if you were a spotter in a search and rescue mission, do you think you could see the missing person? Do you see them? I bet you could. So there. Now let's switch to zoom. Zoom in, okay. It looks like they could use some help. So let's drop a pinpoint, and we can get this person's precise coordinates. Okay, so for customers, who work with the M300 and the H20 series, maybe this level of detail and pinpoints with the laser rangefinder 
it might not seem too groundbreaking. But what is truly groundbreaking is that we were able to fit so many powerful sensors into such a small frame. This is what makes a DJI product a DJI product. And some of our best work went into this payload. Let me tell you a little bit more. So we were already really happy with H20T hybrid camera, its performance and its weight. And that's why we released it. And it's been doing a really good job. But we wanted to see if we could make it even smaller to make it even more accessible for more and more scenarios and situations. So the first thing we did was take the ISP, which is the image signal processor, which are chips that are normally in the payload, and we move them to the drone's body. These chips take up a lot of space, and they also give off a lot of heat when they're in use. So it was a logical decision for us to move them to the drone's body. There's more space there to accommodate them and the heat that they give off. But we still had a, we had a new problem now, which was that connecting the laser rangefinder the thermal sensor, the wide camera, the zoom camera in the payload, connecting all of this to the ISP inside the drone. There's 96 wires, which all have to fit through a six millimeter hole and span through the back of the payload, up the motor shaft of the gimbal and into the drone's um, ISP. And by the way, six millimeters is about the diameter of a pencil. Also, these 96 wires, they also include image signal wires, which need they need to be tolerant to movement from the gimbal. They need to be tolerant to interference as well as to weather. So this was really, really challenging, but we managed to do it. One consequence is that the payload is fixed, so you can't swap it with other payloads. But in total, we were able to bring its weight down by more than half, from 828 grams down to 320 grams, all while maintaining the same performance and specs as the H20T. And by the way, 320 grams is less than that of a can of soda. So by starting with a significantly slimmed down payload, everything else on the drone could be made smaller, lighter, and more portable. And even though we've made it smaller, the M30 retains all of the ruggedness and environmental adaptability that you've come to expect from a Matrice. With IP55 ingress protection, the M30 can shrug off heavy rains, dust, extreme temperatures, both hot and cold, as well as altitudes up to 7,000 meters above sea level. Also, heavy winds up to 15 meters per second. It's also got flagship performance, so max flight speeds of 23 meters per second. And for my Imperial unit friends out there, that's just over 50 miles an hour. The M30 is fast, not only in the air, but also on the ground. So what I mean is, it's got a new self-locking system for the arms, so it's easier than ever both to unpack it and to pack it back up. When you need to pack it back up, you just gotta press this button and the arm can fold again. We've also done away with landing gear. So this is one less step that you have to worry about when you need to get airborne as fast as possible. And now when you're airborne, you can enjoy the most stable, responsive flight experience of an enterprise drone to date, thanks to the M30's quad antenna design with OcuSync 3 Enterprise, you can have crisp, stable connections up to 15 kilometers away. When you're working in complex environments, like dense urban areas or very remote areas with poor signal, you can opt to plug in a 4G dongle. As for safety features, and this is something that we take extremely seriously, it's got everything that the M300 has. Six directional sensing and positioning, which enables detection of obstacles up to 38 meters away, and brings the M30 to a stop mid-flight to avoid collisions. It's got numerous built-in redundancies and backup systems, so if something goes wrong, there's always a backup system that can come online. It's got dual RTK modules for reliable bearing and positioning, so you can fly safely even near structures that give off electromagnetic interference, like power lines. And like all DJI drones, it's got the ADS-B receiver, so you'll have air sense and know of any approaching helicopters or airplanes. Another thing that will make flying even safer, we've revamped night and low light performance for the M30. So this is the FPV camera, and you can see clearly the skyline, the horizon, elevation features like this ridge. And if you look at the bottom right, there's the M30T's wide camera, which is nearly pitch black. So this is a, a game changer for anyone who finds themselves airborne at night, say for a search and rescue mission. 
We've also developed smart low light photo. So this quickly captures multiple photos, combines them, and gives you a sharp, crisp photo even at night. Lastly, I want to talk about the M30's battery situation. So this is a TB30 battery, and two of these can power the M30 for 41 minutes of flight. They're hot swappable, so you can change in a fresh pair without having to turn the drone off. And they're also smart. They can do self-heating. So this is really important for our customers who work in cold environments. Anyone who's flown a drone or who works with them regularly, they know how tedious it is to manage your batteries, to keep them charged, and to store them safely. So we've tried to make the battery situation as simple as possible with the M30. Make it as user-friendly as possible. When you buy your M30, it comes with a briefcase-sized battery charging station, which can charge four pairs of TB batteries, one pair at a time, with each pair only taking 30 minutes to charge to 90%. The charging station supports three charging modes. So there's standard, storage, and also ready-to-fly mode. So standard mode is exactly what it sounds like. It charges each pair to 100%, one pair at a time. But Keeping your batteries fully charged for prolonged periods is actually not so good for them. So we also give you storage mode, which charges each pair to 50%, and this is better for their long-term health. And we have ready-to-fly mode. We've designed this for first responders and emergency teams who need their drones and batteries ready to go at a moment's notice when duty calls. So ready-to-fly mode fast charges each pair of batteries to 90%, with each pair taking less than 30 minutes and then it keeps them there at 90% on standby. And lastly, to finish off the accessories, I'm pleased to share that the M30 has full PSDK integration and supports a growing library of third-party payloads, which include powerful spotlights that can illuminate the ground from above, loudspeakers that can help you broadcast a message, and more. And they, at they, they attach to the M30 with this rack on the top here, through the top payload port. So we're really excited for you to get your hands on the M30. Every aspect of its design, each engineering choice we made, from its size and performance to its sensors and safety features, its batteries and accessories, everything was to create a better tool for you, the DJI Enterprise users, so you can do your jobs safer and smarter. But when it comes to doing your jobs to the best of your ability, the drone is only half the package. Your remote controller is your link to the drone, and it's how you interact and communicate with it. It's how you see what it sees. Enterprise users have been waiting a long time for a dedicated enterprise remote controller, and I'm so happy to present to you DJI RC Plus, the official enterprise remote controller. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's really wide. It's got a massive high-definition widescreen to put more visual information in your hands. The screen is sharp, clear, ultra-bright, so you can have mission-critical details even under direct sunlight. Up top, we've got two removable antennas that enable stable connection with your drone up to 15 kilometers away. Fully charged, the RC has a whopping six hours of screen on time. And under the hood, it's got two batteries, one internal, one external. And then you can remove the external one mid-mission and hot swap it with a fresh one. Also, you can charge the RC as you're using it with the 65-watt USB port and something that our customers have been asking for for a long time. It's rated IP54 and can withstand temperatures ranging from negative 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. This means that the entire remote controller is rainproof. When duty calls, but it's raining, you can fly with confidence and peace of mind knowing that your remote controller is protected from the elements just like the M30 it controls. And one more thing, releasing with DJI RC Plus is Pilot 2 a major overhaul of the, and redesign of the primary enterprise flight app. We started with the pilot home screen, which quickly provides you with essential pre-flight information, the presence of any altitude zones or geo zones nearby, so up here on the top left. It also gives you your drone status here on the right. So this includes whether there's, any, whether there's like a firmware update that you need, and even the status or duration of your DJI Care enterprise coverage. We want to make sure that all of this critical information is right there, right away, at a glance. 
If you click Enter Camera, it gives you your pre-flight checklist. And we've optimized this so you can easily set things like return to home, max altitude, directional sensing, and more. And lastly, we've adjusted the flight interface so you have less clutter, easier access to, to settings and menus, and an improved awareness of the drone's surroundings and position. My personal favorite addition in Pilot 2 is the configuration with these six screen side buttons, each of which is mapped to a variety of functions within Pilot 2. For example, you can change feeds from FPV to infrared to wide to zoom. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can drop pinpoints. All of this you can do with these buttons. And let me tell you, we've been testing this for a while now. It's amazing how quickly you develop the muscle memory. Together, this combination of hardware and software, DJI RC Plus and Pilot 2, we believe will make it easier and safer for you to get the most out of your M30 so you can make a difference in your work sites and your communities. Speaking of, I'm so proud to share that the M30, the DJI RC Plus, and Pilot 2 have already played a part in saving a life. The Weber County Search and Rescue Team is a professional mountain rescue team based in Utah, USA. They've been exceptional beta testers, getting their hands dirty with the M30, giving feedback on features, and even finding a few bugs, if you can believe it. And while they were testing, they were actually able to use it to save the life of a snowboarder who went missing on their mountain the evening of February the 25th. They got the call, arrived on scene, and found the snowboarder within 10 minutes, thanks to the thermal camera on the M30T and the keen eyes of the pilot and the spotter. The snowboarder's coordinates were picked up with a laser rangefinder and then sent to ground teams who rescued him shortly after. This is a core part of DJI product development philosophy. Get feedback from the end users, get our ideas tested in the front lines so we can build the best products possible based on real life demands and real life situations. So hats off to Kyle Neufers and the Weber County Search and Rescue Team. Thank you so much for the excellent work out there. Our next product that we have today was also inspired by our experiences testing drone technology on the front lines in real life scenarios. Let me bring you back three years ago to December 2019. A wildfire had broken out across this mountain range and high winds were quickly spreading it. When we arrived, the firefighters were preparing to deploy across the mountains to search for hotspots, help bring it under control. We brought along an early engineering model of the M300 and we gave live video feeds of the ongoing fire to the incident commander. At the same time, it was also a golden opportunity for us to test out a new feature we've been cooking up, pinpoints. To our delight, we were able to find every single hotspot for kilometers, pinpoint each one, get their precise coordinates, thanks to the H20T, its thermal camera, and its laser rangefinder. So this marks the first ever use of pinpoints with a drone, and it was proof that the idea works. But the issue was the information, the game-changing informa information picked up by the drones, it was stuck on the screens of the pilots. We had groups crowded around the pilots' remote control screens with walkie-talkies and cell phones trying to describe the locations of the growing fires. There was no easy way to beam this information to the command centers and more importantly, to the ground teams who had already taken up positions across the mountainous terrain. What good is drone intel if no one can see it let alone act on it. We want drones to be as helpful and useful as they possibly can be. And it was these roadblocks, these information silos, that led to the development of Flight Hub 2. For those who are unfamiliar, Flight Hub is our all-in-one cloud-based drone operations management platform that offers synchronization features to coordinate between ground teams, drones, payloads, pilots, and all the intelligence that they gather. Let's take a step back and put ourselves in the shoes of the firefighters or search and rescue teams who Flight Hub 2 was built for. When you arrive at the fire or the search area, the first thing you can do is log in to the live Flight Hub 2 project, which is your shared mission interface that your team will be using. Flight Hub 2 is entirely cloud-based, which means it's accessible not only to the pilot's remote controllers, but also to everyone on the team who has a device with a web browser. This includes the remote controller, laptops, tablets, and mobile devices. Now, everybody involved in emergency response, from incident commanders to ground teams on the front lines, everyone 
can log into the same mission and access the same intelligence gathered by the drones. Okay, so now that we've arrived on scene, we're logged in, we need a quick overview of the wildfire or of our search area. Flight Hub 2 supports some slick mapping features that give you this immediate situational awareness. We can start with 2.5D base map. So this takes the satellite map of your area and then overlays elevation data so you have a more three-dimensional sense of the immediate environment. This helps you and ground teams even before you fly a drone. So now you can take the mountains and elevation into consideration as you plan your initial flight steps and flight routes. Okay, so once the drones take off, you can get 360 degree overviews of the mission site with one tap panorama sync. So the sync part here means that your panorama is automatically uploaded and shared to all teammates who are signed into this mission. For example, the ground teams on the front line who've got Flight Hub 2 on their phones. This is really helpful when you need a rapid first impression of an unfamiliar environment. Also, the position where each panorama was captured from, it can be marked on the 2.5D base map, and then you can open them directly from this map. And if you need high resolution details, you can choose cloud mapping. So this is a game changer for emergency response teams who need high resolution maps, not just spatially, but also temporally. That is a fresh map captured minutes ago. So this is how it works. First, you highlight your target area up to 1.5 square kilometers for each flight. And then you set parameters like altitude. Um, and then the M30 does the rest. It automatically flies over the area, taking pictures. As the pictures come in, Flight Hub 2 processes them into an ortho mosaic map, which is then overlaid on your 2.5D base map. And this is the result. I can't stress just how important this is, how important this kind of high resolution spatial information is when you're setting foot in an unfamiliar environment. And cloud mapping works at night too with thermal. So this white area is the infrared cloud map and you can see the presence of details you might not have noticed with a regular visual light ortho mosaic. And Flight Hub 2 does much more than just cloud processing and mapping. A major feature that we've added to support air to ground coordination is what we like to call live annotations, which are points, lines, and polygons that you can draw on the map. So let's say you're a pilot, you're helping in a search and rescue mission, Polygons can help you distribute search areas between pilots and ground teams. And once you see something that might be your missing person, you can drop a pinpoint so the ground teams know which direction they should go. You can draw lines to plot out routes and guide them along the safest path. And live annotations are all shown on the Flight Hub 2 information interface so all team members can see them. Flight Hub 2 isn't just for search and rescue and firefighting operations, but also any job, like surveying, inspecting, any job that uses drones and needs to keep organized. Flight Hub 2 has powerful mission planning functions, so flight routes can be, or tasks, they can be created, saved, shared to other pilots. And then after the mission, post-mission, videos, photos, maps, models, everything captured can be saved, viewed, and managed with Flight Hub 2. Okay. So as we wrap up the software part of today's event, I've got two pieces of good news for you. The first, Pilot and Flight Hub 2 support not only the new M30, but also the M300. The second, through October 31st of this year, we're opening a free public beta for Flight Hub 2. You can enjoy all the features we've introduced today as well as everything new that we are releasing from here on out. We hope that in your hands, this software solution will help bring your mission efficiency to new heights, eliminate information silos and blockades, and allow you to respond to changing dynamic circumstances with grace and cohesion. Okay, today we released the M30, the Enterprise Remote Controller, Pilot 2, and Flight Hub 2. So for all of this, all together, what do you think is a fair price like seriously, what would a package like this be worth? We want this drone solution to be as accessible as possible, so as many people can benefit from it as possible. You can see the price here now on screen.
And by the way, these prices include a full year of DJI Care Enterprise coverage. So you can fly your M30 with peace of mind. Okay, so we've just shown you a lot. Let me give you five seconds to catch your breath because we're not done yet. What we've got next is going to change work forever. Consider for a moment across the pale blue dot that we call home, all the millions of miles of power lines and oil pipelines, the telecom towers that keep us connected, the solar fields and wind farms that keep us powered, the aging infrastructure and assets spanning across the remote places of the earth that serve as the foundation for society as we know it. If something malfunctions, if something goes wrong, if there's a structural failure or a pipeline leak, we're talking about catastrophic environmental damage, economic damage, and not to mention the dangers that repair and cleanup crews will be exposed to. There's no easy way to make sure that this doesn't happen, to protect these assets that live on the roads less traveled. Until now. Today, we bring you DJI Dock, our first landing and charging station that allows for the realization of fully remote, automatic, programmed flights with the M30. Let me say that again. This is DJI Dock, and with it, and the Dock version of the M30, you can have a fully automatic, programmed, repeatable drone flights, even in the harshest, most remote places on Earth. I'm sure your minds are racing at the possibilities. And don't worry, I promise, that we'll show it to you in action very soon. But first, let me tell you a little bit more about the dock and how it works. The first thing we had to do, the first thing we had to prioritize with the dock is make it rugged, durable, and able to withstand the elements. Because what's the point of hands-free drone operations with a dock if you still have to go check on it and fix it when it stops working? For this to be a viable solution, to meet the high standards set by enterprise customers, the dock needs to be consistent, safe, and reliable, even in the harshest, most remote places on Earth. The entire dock is weatherproof and dustproof, and is rated to operate in environments with temperatures ranging from negative 35 to 50 degrees Celsius. And the whole thing is rated IP55. You can see here, night or day, rain or shine, this solution is extremely reliable and consistent. The DJI dock was built to last and to require minimal care and maintenance, even in harsh, barren environments, even in miserable weather like this. We want you to think of the dock as a set it and leave it kind of solution. And speaking of set it and leave it, give me a second. This is the dock's integrated weather station that knows when conditions aren't safe for the M30 to fly. I have to set it here. I had to pull it out just so I could hide the dock properly. This is our first dock. We're still learning, but we've tried to think of everything you could need. On top of the weather station is an ultra wide security camera that you can live stream with Flight Hub 2. If you're installing your dock in a remote place with poor signal, the dock can have 4G. Normally, you should be fine though, thanks to the dock's four antennas and OcuSync 3 Enterprise that communicate with the drone um, and the M30. If you want to run missions that require precision to the centimeter level, we gave the dock RTK. And if something goes wrong, if there's an emergency power outage, for example, the dock has an internal backup battery that can keep the dock powered and communicating with the M30 long enough for it to land safely. We've packed the dock with features, but we still managed to keep it small. Well, relatively small at least. It has a less than one square meter footprint and weighs only 90 kilograms. You can transport it on the back of your pickup or even bring it in the elevator, for example, if you want to set it up on the roof. Installation is really easy. You just need four bolts, one for each um, of the corners, and you need a power source, an ethernet connection, and you need 15 minutes to configure it with the enterprise remote controller. And from wherever you do inside this to install it, the M30 can take off and conduct automatic missions 
that you program anywhere within a seven kilometer radius from the dock. So this 19 square, 19 square kilometer oil field is home to over 1,100 wells, and it's one of our test sites when developing the dock. It's a remote place, and keeping track of all the equipment and infrastructure is a really, a truly daunting task. Three docks and three M30s would be enough to provide daily coverage and inspections for the entire site. So, after the M30 finishes its mission, how does charging work? When the M30 lands, it's centered as the overhead doors close, and then the dock can fast charge it back to 90% in just 25 minutes. So why would you need rapid turnaround times like this? We expect users will be assigning a lot of work to their drones um, and their docks. So fast charging is essential. It'll make a huge difference, especially in places where there's only so many hours of daylight in a day. To achieve rapid recharge times like this, we had to get creative. So after a mission, drone batteries, they tend to be really hot, and so you need to cool them down to optimal temperatures for optimal charging. So we gave the dock air conditioning and fans, so cold air can be blown through the batteries right across its heat sink. Even on hot days, you're still able to have rapid turnarounds. Charging protocols and everything else from mission planning to and scheduling to live monitoring and of flight progress to management of videos and photos, it all can be managed within Flight Hub 2. And for users and partners who have their own requirements for customizations or who have existing systems that they'd rather just plug the dock and the M30 into, we're offering Cloud API, which opens up core dock and M30 functionality to developers and system integrators. So you can set up your own private servers that work with the dock and the M30. Okay, so enough with specs and features. You want to see the dock in action. So without further ado, Flight Hub's sending the launch commands right now. And there you have it. Building a reliable dock solution is really difficult, and we're still learning. And we've been so lucky to have partners and select end users who are currently testing their operations with the dock and who are helping us put it to test in the world's harshest conditions. We aim to have it commercially available in Q4 of 2022. The whole package includes the dock, Flight Hub 2, and the dock version of the M30. And you can see the prices here on the screen. We're looking forward to seeing what you can achieve with the dock. Before we wrap this up, we've got one more thing for you today. With the release of the M30, the dock, and Flight Hub 2, we're offering the ultimate solution for inspectors, for first responders, and those of you who need a flagship drone but in a compact mobile form. But we haven't forgotten our original flagship, the drone that set industry standards for performance, reliability, safety, and data security, the Matrice 300. Arguably, the M300's greatest feature is its multi-payload flexibility, 
with the H20 series for inspection, zoom, and thermal needs. The Zenmuse P1, built for surveyors and mappers, L1 for LiDAR point clouds, and the robust developer ecosystem of third-party payloads from multi-gas detectors to spotlights, loudspeakers, delivery cargoes, and more. And it's this payload flexibility that's played an important part in making the M300 the industry standard for today's commercial enterprise drone pilots. But there's still one aspect where the M300 and its predecessors, to be completely honest, where they come up short, and that's nighttime work. All kinds of essential work happens at night, and it's the darkness that makes everything so much more challenging. From search and rescue missions that happen at night to emergency inspection of power lines when there's a shortage um, at night. Right now, I'm so happy to share today that we are expanding the M300's payload portfolio here with the H20N, raising the M300 beyond even the cover of darkness. The H20N, N stands for night, is similar to the H20T. It's got wide, zoom, thermal zoom, and a laser rangefinder. But what makes this product truly shine are the integrated starlight sensors built into its wide and zoom cameras. So what does this mean exactly? A picture is worth a thousand words and a video is worth a thousand pictures. This is what it looks like from the H20N. And this is what it looks like without starlight sensors. The H20N can give you this level of detail, this clear of an image, at night, just from the light of the moon or from the stars. And it's not just a starlight camera. It's got a dual thermal configuration with two times and eight times optical zoom. Now, when you see some hot pixels on your screen, you don't have to descend to dangerously low altitudes to get a closer look. Now you can just zoom in to see clearly if that heat source is a person or a dog or something else. And this saves you precious time when every moment matters. Lastly, the H20N also has a laser rangefinder that lets you drop pinpoints up to 1,200 meters away. So look really, look really closely and pay attention to our target, our missing person. Do you see that? Did you catch that? All right, wait, let me go back. Look really close, there, there. Do you see that? So that blip of light was actually from the laser rangefinder and the H20N starlight sensors can detect it. So it's hard to measure the value or the price of vision beyond darkness when you truly need it, when it could save the life of someone who's lost. We want the H20N to be as accessible as possible. So we're pricing it at $12,999 or 14,999 euros. We hope that the H20N can give a boost to search and rescue teams and first responders to make it safer, both for those who are lost and also for those who search for them. So let's take a step back and look at the current lineup offered from DJI Enterprise. We have three levels of drone platform, each with different degrees of compactness, flexibility, and performance. We have a library of payloads and accessories that transform your drone based off of your mission requirements. We have software to support you from start to finish, from piloting and mission planning, to managing your photos and videos, to creating 3D models and maps. We have a full developer ecosystem for third-party apps, payloads, and solutions. And we have a dock that enables fully automatic, programmable, repeatable drone flights. Together, these form a comprehensive solution, giving you unprecedented flexibility in your individual drone missions and for your entire drone program. Hardware and software that work together to accomplish your goals, products that were designed for you, the guardians and the everyday heroes who come to our aid and who caretake to the infrastructure that society is built upon. We envision a future where drones are seen as more than just flying cameras, but, as act but actually as tools that can help build and maintain a better world. There's so much work left to do, and we're looking forward to taking every step of the way together with you. Thank you for tuning in today, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.
In the face of adversity, what drives you to push forward? Courage, experience, absolute trust in all that supports you. Meet the new generation of enterprise drones, the Matrice 30 series. 16 times optical zoom camera, thermal camera, wide camera, and a laser rangefinder, the M30 is the new standard for hybrid payloads. Powered by DJI's latest flight controllers, image transmission, and image processing technology for next level performance. Six-way sensing and positioning offers protection and ensures safe flight. A new generation of quad antenna image transmission ensures signal stability, even in complex environments. With its 200 times hybrid zoom camera, you can focus from afar and capture the precise shots you need. And its high resolution thermal camera efficiently reveals heat sources. When night falls, the M30 is ready. Its low light FPV camera sees your surroundings even in darkness, so you can work safely. And smart low light photo captures clear pictures even at night. All of this power is still compact and portable. It fits in your backpack to go where you go, ready to unpack and deploy in seconds. Hot swap batteries to keep you flying, even under torrential rain, treacherous slopes, scorching heat, gale force winds, or freezing cold. The M30 is designed to endure. The new DJI RC Plus controller is designed for enterprise pilots. It's waterproof and resistant to extreme temperatures. With quad antenna video transmission, 4G, battery hot swapping, and 65 watt fast charging, you can power through until the work is done. Pilot 2 with a reimagined user interface for a revolutionary flight control experience. Introducing DJI Flight Hub 2, a complete ground-to-cloud drone operations platform. 2.5D base map and one-tap panorama sync gives you rapid situational awareness, and RGB or infrared cloud mapping gives you high-resolution orthomosaics, so you can proceed with safety and assurance. With live annotations, draw points, draw routes, or divide work areas and quickly synchronize information across remote controllers, computers, and mobile devices for true ground-to-cloud coordination. For the remote places on Earth, for roads less traveled, we present to you DJI Duck. Built for round-the-clock automatic and repeatable drone flights wherever you need it. Highly compact and integrated for easy installation, set up and configure in just 30 minutes. Core components are modular and easy to maintain. The M30 dock version upon landing can recharge and take off in just 25 minutes. With an operating radius of seven kilometers, DJI dock can cover a wide range of repetitive inspection and monitoring tasks across a variety of scenarios. Plan and perform remote missions through the DJI Flight Hub 2 cloud platform. The drone can take off, execute the assigned tasks, and automatically upload media files. Check on drones, docks, and mission status in real time from your web browser to officially manage your grid of docks and achieve a truly remote work experience. The world we live in is built upon your trust and hard work. The Matrice 30 Series, for an eye in the sky when you need it. DJI Flight Hub 2, for air-to-ground coordination. And the rugged, automatic DJI Dock, to help you day and night. All of this is ready for you.